And the range extender is two cylinder, two cylinder. 650 cc BMW motorcycle engine attached to just over two gallon tank. That pretty much acts like a, a generator that powers the battery that propels the car. Pull back once for neutral, and the okay. second click is reverse. Okay. He always says park. Yep. Put your foot on the brake, you push start button, and you're ready to go. Excellent. It's definitely a lot more snappy than a Leaf. There we go. Pretty good. That's actually fairly smooth deceleration for coming off the uh, for coming off of the accelerator pedal. Uh huh. Now here, let's get out of the traffic. Let's go to destroy their car either. It's uh, the. I felt like it was too much uh, braking when you decelerate on the original Mini, um, and then the the Active E, the One Series corrected that somewhat. This feels more like the 1 Series, maybe a tad softer than that, but I think that they made a conscious decision not to try to simulate a regular accelerator. One pedal operation. What does that mean? It means that you can decelerate, like right now, I'm decelerating without using the brake. Okay, I finally hit the brake right here. But it gives you a soft brake feel because it's essentially turning the electric motor backwards as a generator and instead of turning your forward momentum and all that kinetic energy into heat through the brake pads, it's turning the engine as a generator and putting it back into the battery. If you give yourself enough lead time, you're gonna just capture every bit of your D-cell. Well, we'll see if it comes to a complete stop. We'll try to experiment the next time I have to stop if yeah. there's enough room. But um, yeah, the notion is that maybe only 10% of the time do you actually have to use a, a, a brakes with a, thermal dissipation velocity. Okay, so that brought us basically to a stop without hitting brakes. Wow. Although I'm pissing off the car behind me. Uh, <laughs> What's this? I don't know. A uh, red eject button? Uh, that, yeah, that's another one of those buttons you probably shouldn't touch. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. BMW, this is Christina speaking. How may I assist you? Hi, sorry, I was trying to put the sunroof back and I hit the uh, the help button by accident. Oh, that's okay. I could definitely go ahead and end the call. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, I think we're doing fine. Thank you very much, and okay. it's good to know someone's there. Okay, thank you for using BMW. Thank you. Bye bye. Ah, so this is a uh, this is a not a gear change in the circle. This is for. Uh, managing our our system here. So I assume there are two different uh, driving modes and comfort is probably going to be more aggressive so we'll try that from the... Uh, Give you your all your torque on the takeoff there and we go 0 to 60 on this in... 6 point something just under 7 seconds. Well, boy does that feel like it kicks you back there with your electric vehicle you get immediate torque pushing eco mode and braking seems about the same pickup seems pretty good pretty nice performance even in the eco mode and Okay, nice little bass on the stereo. That is quite peppy, even in Eco Pro mode. Very nice widescreen map. Yeah, actually pretty easy to read. Yep. And uh, the suspension is actually quite nice on this. Um, you, it, 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 it actually rides kind of BMW-like. Uh, a little bit sporty, you can feel the bumps in the road. And you've been a lifetime BMW driver so and my father before me uh -huh. so this is giving you the feel that you like from your BMW absolutely in an electric form ah there we go see decelerates but not so quick I had to use a little brake that time so, yeah it was brake okay yeah and I think that comparing this to the Tesla which is maybe not totally fair but a lot of people will do that this one's got a more I mean I could be 
well, I couldn't drive blindfolded, but the feel of it, I could tell you it was a uh, BMW, even if there is no logo on it for me to see. The Tesla was quite nice, but it didn't quite have that characteristic BMW road handling feel. So I'm, I'm actually very impressed that with the weight differential and so on, they, they managed to do this. One of the things that's very interesting is that with the batteries, it's a quite low center of gravity. And so this has a lower center of gravity and therefore handling ability than um, you would find even on a M series. This is an incredible driving experience. Fantastic that it's electric. This is the year for some incredible electric choices. Overall, great car, great ride. Let's close her up.